Hello, and welcome to module 18 of setting up a journal in OJS 3.3. In this module, we will learn how to use the Quick Submit plugin. This plugin allows us to upload articles to our journal without them having to go through all the editorial workflow within the platform. This is very useful when, for example, you have some digitized items that belong to your journal's archive. We're going to go into our dashboard from the upper right corner of our journal's homepage. We can access the Quick Submit plugin through the Installed Plugins tab or directly from the Tools link on the sidebar menu. Let's go to the left and click on Tools. On the Import Export tab, we will find the Quick Submit plugin link. Clicking on the link will give us access to use it. This page shows a form where we will have to fill in all the metadata of the item, the fields, just like when the author makes a submission to the journal, depend on the workflow settings of our journal. We can upload a cover image for this item, clicking on the Upload button, and dragging and dropping a file or by clicking the Upload File button. Once the image is uploaded, we must not forget to write in the alternate text. For visitors that are viewing the site on a text-only browser or with assistive devices. Once we're satisfied with the changes, we can click OK and continue. Now we have to choose a section for our article. Then we can fill in the title, subtitle and abstract. Now we can fill in the additional refinements. In this case, the journal only requires languages and keywords. We can click on the Add Contributor button to fill in the information of all the people who contributed in this work, such as authors and translators. Only the name, contact and country of the contributor are required. However, we can fill in all the details if needed. Let's not forget to add the contributor's role in this work. In this case, this was the article's author and the main contact for editorial correspondence. When we're happy with the changes, we can click on Save and continue. Now, we can add the galley file of our article by clicking on the Add Galley button. First, we have to write in the galley label, referring to the file format that we will be using. If the journal accepts submissions in different languages, we must choose the language of the galley. We could also make the galley available on a separate website by clicking on the box or writing an optional URL path. But for this example, let's just save and continue. Now we can upload the galley files, selecting the article component and clicking the upload file or dragging and dropping the files to begin the upload. Once the file has uploaded, we can click on continue. We can also change the file's name and click on complete and then confirm. This item can remain unpublished for us to schedule its publication later, or we can select published to schedule for publication in a future issue. This option will display new fields. Now, we must choose an existing issue to schedule the publication of this article. Let's choose our current issue. Then we can add the page numbers and we must add a publication date for this article. We can also add permissions information like the license URL, the copyright holder or the copyright year. When we're happy with all the changes, we can simply click on Save. The article creation was successful. Now we can either return to the Quick Submit plugin and use it again, or go to see the submission. 
If we click on Go to the Submission, we will see the Submissions panel just as we would with a normal submission made by an external author. Now, let's go to take a look to our issues. If we go to our current issue, we can see that the table of contents already features the article that we uploaded through the Quick Submit plugin. Thank you very much for watching this video. We will see each other in the next module.